guys, it's Kathy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my very first Wizarding Trunk subscription box. So I'm excited. So if you want to see more of the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe over here and push that notification bell. Let's go get unboxing. This subscription box is actually bi-monthly. So I think it's every other month and I paid $54.99. So this is my very first box and I'm so excited. So remember, we did the Git Gear, we did the Accio, and now we're doing the Wizarding Trunk. And at the end of my little experiment of subscription boxes, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of find out which one we want to retain, okay? Because these boxes can be very, very expensive. So I'm so excited, but look at the box. You know what, let me show you the box first because it is heavy. It is heavy and I'm super excited. And it says the Owlery. Um, over here, this is plain. And then it says fragile, magical delivery. And over here, it says Owl Post. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. And you guys get to see it first. Okay, what is it? <laughs> I need to calm down. All right, let's see what is the first item on our box. It's a letter. And it says, Dear Witch or Wizard, Greetings from the Ministry. Enclosed, you'll find your license for independent wizarding travel. <laughs> Given that you have taken and completed the 12-week apparition course. That's right. Well, I have been apparating and disapparating, and I, actually, I was unlicensed to do that. I didn't get my certification, if you've seen my other videos. So, this is the legal document for passing my 12-week apparition course. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> of course, everything is just a fandom, right? So, all right. So, okay, received your certificate of completion and paid all applicable fees. Your license has now been issued. The license may appear blank. However, please do not attempt to fill in any witch or wizard's information other than your own. The parchment that this license is printed on has been spelled so that only the recipient can fill in their own personal information. This license gives you permission to travel from one location to another without traversing the space in between. Please keep in mind this license is only valid for a single wizarding travel. If you wish for other witches or wizards to travel with you, you must test and upgrade to a side-along license. Hoping you are well, head of department. Alright, so here we go with our schedoodles, brown schedoodles, and I see a box. So I'm so excited. It's my first Wizarding Trump box, and so this one is kind of hefty. Oh, by the way, this box is heavy. It is heavy. It's a box box. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I think it's a candle. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's go ahead. Is it a candle? Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, what is it? The pitch scent. Um, what is it? Fresh air, flying sweet grass, and dandelion. Inf air candles. It's four ounce. Okay, the pitch. Oh, look at this. We have the three rings for the Quidditch. So the pitch for the Quidditch. Let's go ahead and smell it because you know, when you play the Quidditch, and I used to play the Quidditch when I was in school. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm really afraid of heights. But, um, so the Quidditch is the game in the wizarding world. And it's like soccer, but um, this thing won't open up. And it's, and it's played outdoors, out in the field. So you should smell grass and fresh air and dandelions, flowers, or whatever you have. Okay. Oh, is it a woodwake? It is a woodwake. I've seen a lot of these things from the other YouTubers. And it has, oh my gosh. The smell is amazing. It does smell like like fresh air, Febreze type. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it does have glitters inside and some dandelion flowers and it's, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. You guys see that? It's glittery and oh my gosh. And it does have the flowers in there and the glitters and, and it is a wood wick. Good job! I'm so excited! Finally, my very first candle! This is amazing! Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next item. I see another box. This box is heavy. Oh my God. What could it be? This box is heavy! Oh my gosh! So precious! What could it be? I'm so excited. This one, I think it's upside down. It's supposed to be this way. I think. <gasps> Is it a potion? I'm so excited. It's in a bubble wrap. Awesome. Okay, let's take it, take it out of the bubble wrap. <gasps> oh my gosh. I, I don't know if this is like a... It's a Dittany. It's a powerful healing herb used in many healing potions. This herb can be consumed raw, but is not nearly as effective as when used in potion making. So this is actually the herb where you can extract your Dittany um, potion, okay? And in the movies, so Hermione used the Dittany potion to heal up um, Ron, Ron had that big laceration on his arm and Hermione used this. Well, it's the potion, the Dittany potion. And she has that in a little vial and she used it and dropped it on Ron's skin and it healed up pretty good. But look at this, this is awesome. I've always wanted to make, I've see, I see a lot of people do their own potions, but this is so cute. Look at that. And it's wax sealed and I think it's sealed up all the way up to the top by a wax and then you have this twine I think is what you call that. So that is so cool. We have the the herb, the plant here and some rocks at the bottom That and it has water inside. That is so cool. I am so happy. Let's check out what this thing is. Look at this. Oh my gosh, another soft pouch. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Honestly, how did you two manage to transfigure her brooch into a holder for a non-magical cellular phone? Well, you better figure out how to put it back right before she finds out. And before you ask, no, I am not doing it for you. Her mind. Okay, I think I think this is a doorknob. Okay, I might be wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm so new to this. So help me out. If you know what it is, go ahead and put your comment down below. So it looks so cute, but I'm gonna put this on the side so we can take a look at the cheat sheet later. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this is one, two, three, four. Now, what is this? Is this like a cup holder? Okay, so I think, I think this is a cup holder. Isn't this so cute? It is so soft. It's those coolers, right? That you put, you put your, your drinking um, container here and it stays cold, right? But look at that, it's so cute. We have um, Scabbers and Ron's broken wand and, and the cup that was supposed to be transfigured to a rat. But, and then I can't remember the book over here. So let's put this on the side. So far, this is so clever. These items are so usable. I'm so, so happy. Let's go ahead and pull up the next one. Let's do this one. This is in a soft ah, pouch. Oh my gosh, I'm not even looking at it. So you guys get to see it first. I'm so excited. What does it say? Do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself broomstick servicing kit. You know what? Um, Hermione actually gave Harry a gift um, in one of the Christmases. It's a self. It's a. It's a, It's a broomstick care. You know. So this is so cute. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my gosh! It comes in this cute little cloth pouch. 
and more items inside. Inside your self kit pouch, we have a little pouch inside, and let's see what it's inside. Oh, I thought it was a ring. <laughs> Okay, it's actually those, what do you call this? Those ring holders? Okay, so let's figure out why we would need a ring holder. So this is, it says high quality broomstick polish, white horns, um, do it yourself, broom care and maintenance. Well, let's go ahead and open it up. It says broom polish, oh, it's a soap, it's a face soap. Broom polish, okay, detox face soap. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is cute. It is kind of heavy, so I think the soap is inside. It's not like just a tin can where you would put your soap inside, right? So let's go ahead and open it up. Alchemy for the skin. Oh my gosh. It's in a tin can. It has this cute front print and also the back print here. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh. Here's the soap. Oh my gosh. It's, it's a face soap. And it smells so refreshing. It smells like a soap and it doesn't have that strong scent smell that you, that you buy at the grocery store, you buy at the store. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I'm so happy with this one. Okay, we've got that one. We've got the ring. And then we have a notepad, white horns do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit notes volume one this is a cute cute notepad that i will definitely keep i don't know if i'm gonna use it but oh my gosh this is awesome okay so there's that and then we have this thing i don't know what it is i haven't looked at it yet but exclusive broomstick servicing kit and and this is a compass it has the the north pole is it yeah it has northwest northeast and southeast so very interesting i can't wait to read the cheat sheet so far it's such a strong box it's so worth it for the money that i paid for for 54.99 i can't wait to get my next box okay moving on <gasps> i see three more items i'm so excited look at this envelope okay it's purple and purple is my favorite color and um i don't know what could it be i'm just so excited oh this 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 might be my license for to apparate right this is it this is my license <laughs> all right so what does it say post service okay owl post service it has this beautiful wax seal that i don't want to destroy oh i'm able to pull it like this just do it gently so if you guys are getting this box and you don't want to destroy the seal just you can go ahead and just do it this way so i peeled off a little bit of paper here but that's okay at least we have the wax intact all right so let's go ahead and it is my certificate oh my gosh my license for independent wizard travel, I have to put my name, my date of birth, my wand wood, my wand core, date issued, signature, and issuing wizard. That is awesome. And so I only have one certificate here, and it says there's that. It is so cool. So I'm supposed to be putting my picture in here, I guess, apparently. And then at the back, it says the wizarding trunk. That is so cool. I don't know what this is made of. I think it's made of like a wood kind of. Yeah, because it's not paper. Just like a thin slice of wood, right? That is so cool. All right, next up, this is a print, I think. This is actually what's uh, drawn on Professor McGonagall's board. Um, I think you'll see this in the Chamber of Secrets. Um, in the Chamber of Secrets, in the movie of the Chamber of Secrets, um, Professor McGonagall was just, you know, walking around the classroom and that was the scene where Hermione asked Professor McGonagall about the Chamber of Secrets and what's the history behind it, right? And so if you look at the background, you'll see the board inside the Transfiguration classroom and this is what's 
there. Let me just get it out of the plastic. That is awesome. I think so, right? I haven't taken really a look, a good look into this. So let me go ahead and take a look. That's right. See, Transfiguration lesson number seven. To cast a spell, tap the animal three times, say the incantation, and use the wand movement. This is the Veravento. So you've got your wand movement here, and then, and then you have to say the incantation. That is pretty clever. All right, for our next item, and I think this is the last item too. It's shiny. It just came out. It came out of the tube. <laughs> It is shiny, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it might be a book cover. So let's go ahead and get it out of the plastic. You know, every time I see videos about unboxings, um, I'm just so amazed about the creativity and just, you know, the community of the Harry Potter world, you know, just produces to continue feeding our imagination, even though the movies and everything has been done, but I'm just so, so thankful for the community because, you know, we gotta keep going, right? Despite of everything that's happening and despite of the controversies with JK Rowling, we just gotta keep moving because uh, that's how we need to be. We need to, look, we need to look at the world like that. This is a book cover and I am so excited. Look at that, the complete guide to transfiguration. It's my first time touching something like this. Look at the artwork, look at the details. Oh my gosh, look at that. What do y'all think is the theme of the box? So let's go ahead and check out our cheat sheet. So excited. So, so for how many items did we get anyway? Seven items for $54.99 made with love with all the creative artists from all parts of the world compiled together by the Wizarding Trunk team. Okay friends, here's our cheat sheet for the Wizarding Trunk Transfiguration Flying and Apparition lesson for the month. We actually have a total of 12 items all in all, with the exception of the missing item that I did not find in the box. All the items are great, they're perfect. We are just missing the rat's pin, the rat's goblet pin. And so I will go ahead and email the Wizarding Tron. But overall, I am so happy with my box for $54.99. And you know, it's just very high quality. It is my first unboxing of the Wizarding Trunk and I'm so, so happy with the contents of the box. Let me know on the comments below if I should continue my subscription for the Wizarding Trunk because remember, I also have other subscription boxes and it's kind of getting a bit expensive. So I gotta tone it down and just kind of pick and choose. But so far, let me know what you think about the items and that is it my friends don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notified on my next video bye friends